Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena here. I'm here at the LG V10 event doing a first look comparison against the uh, iPhone 6S Plus. So both phablets from the respective companies. So quick look here. So let's talk about the design. Now between them, the iPhone 6S Plus just has a more premium feel and that's because it's made of pretty much all metal. 7000 series aluminum, uniformly skinny, thin profile, but does feel you know pretty substantial in the hand, heavy. Um, in fact, the weight between both handsets are pretty much almost identical to one another. Now, the, uh, while the aluminum is nice, gives it that premium, elegant look, it's not really meant to withstand drops, and that's where the V10 has the advantage. It has this dura skin material in the back, a rubbery type of texture, so a good grip, it's not as slippery as the iPhone 6S Plus. You have also these stainless steel uh, bandings on the side to really impact more of the, uh, you know, the falls. So in terms of drop protection, it's going to be a little bit, a lot better than the iPhone 6S Plus in that regard. As far as the display is concerned, 5.5 inch 1080p retina display versus a larger 5.7 inch uh, Quad HD IPS quantum display. And honestly, when I set the brightness up to its maximum, the display in the V10 looks exceptional. It's nice and crispy, beautiful colors, that deep black color, a lot to like about the, the display itself. The other news, cool thing about it is that it features also a secondary screen up top. Now, it's meant to well, provide some useful information. When it's on, you could, be, you could actually switch between all the various applications. When it's off, you could, it always shows the time and some other useful notifications. So it's always on hand for you. Um, iPhone 6S Plus, the only notable thing about this display is just that you have uh, the uh, force touch. Again, that's something really unique in the space. Not, no one else does it. And it's implemented pretty well. It offers for intuitive and new experience when it comes to multitasking and even interacting with the display itself. Other qualities, they both have fingerprint sensors. The uh, LG V10 has in the back, you have at the bottom here. They're both incorporated to their, um, the home buttons basically. Well, the home button here is in, on the interface, but yeah, the power button right here in the back. Uh, cameras, 12 megapixel eyesight camera versus 16 megapixel one. We're gonna lean towards the uh, LG V10 on this one just because it has a really cool true manual mode with video. It's, if it's anything like the G4, you expect fantastic quality of the image with the camera by itself. But for video, it really comes to life because you have full manual control. You can adjust things like the ISO, the shutter speed, the white balance, all on the fly while you're shooting video. And you even have 24P capture, which is something you don't get you know, anywhere else on any phone. The other things about the, uh, G, the uh, V10 that has advantage over the iPhone 6S Plus is the fact that you have removable, you have uh, expandable storage. It comes stock, 64 gigabytes of storage, and then you have a micro SD card slot. So a lot to like about you know, the, the V10. It has some really good qualities to it, and we're stoked about checking it out. So if you guys want to learn more about either handset, check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.